This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the stability of DNA. We'll start with a review of the DNA structure. The polar negatively charged hydrophilic backbones of alternating deoxyribose and phosphate groups are on the outside of the double helix. The nonpolar hydrophobic bases with their planar structures are stacked inside the double helix. In this diagram, we can see the negatively charged hydrophilic backbone of alternating deoxyribose and phosphate groups. On the inside of the double helix structure, we have the nonpolar hydrophobic nitrogenous bases. Base stacking interactions play an important role in stabilizing the double helix structure. The nitrogenous bases in DNA are planar and have a tendency to stack on top of one another, similar to a stack of coins. The proximity of the bases to one another results in London dispersion forces acting between the non-polar bases. The two strands of the DNA helix are held together by hydrogen bonds between the nitrogenous bases. Only certain base pairings involving one purine and one pyrimidine are possible. Adenine forms two hydrogen bonds with thymine and guanine forms three hydrogen bonds with cytosine. Let's end with a summary. The double helix structure places the non-polar bases in the center, surrounded by the charged phosphate groups. Base stacking, which involves London dispersion forces, and hydrogen bonding both contribute to the stability of the double helix structure. It's also worth noting that the cellular environment is aqueous, and therefore polar, so surrounding the non-polar bases with charged phosphates maximizes the solubility of DNA.